Good morning. Let's come together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. As we prepare to celebrate Mass today on the Feast of St. Andrew, we call to mind our sins. You've shown us the way to God our Father. Lord, have mercy. You have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. You are the good shepherd who leads us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. The Mass is offered today for Gretchen Hurt. We humbly implore your majesty, O Lord, that just as the blessed apostle Andrew was for your church, a preacher and a pastor, so he may be for us a constant intercessor before you, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For one believes with the heart and so is justified. And one confesses with the mouth and so is saved. The scripture says, no one who believes in him will be put to shame. There is no distinction between Jew and Greek. The same Lord is Lord of all, enriching all who call upon him. For everyone who calls in the name of the Lord shall be saved. But how can they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how can they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without someone to preach? And how can people preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring the good news. But not everyone has heeded the good news. For Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed what they have heard from us. Thus, faith comes from what is heard. And what is heard comes through the word of Christ. But I ask, did they not hear? Certainly they did. For their voice has gone forth to all the earth and their words to the ends of the world the word of the Lord. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The precepts of the Lord are right, Rejoicing the heart, the command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. They are more precious than gold, than a heap of purest gold, sweeter than syrup, or honey from the comb. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. 
As Jesus was walking by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who is called Peter, and his brother Andrew, casting a net into the sea. They were fishermen. He said to them, Come after me, and I will make you fishers of men. At once they left their nets and followed him. He walked along from there and saw two other brothers, James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They were in a boat with their father Zebedee, mending their nets. He called them, and immediately they left their boat and their father and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. You know, there are two accounts of uh, Jesus calling Andrew, whose feast we celebrate today. The one we hear today in the, four, the three synoptic Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, about Jesus walking by the Sea of Galilee, and, and, and they're fishing, and he catches them fishing, and says, come and follow me. Wonderful thing, immediately they drop their nets, they follow him. But the other one is in, in John's Gospel. In John's Gospel, Jesus meets Andrew, and Andrew immediately goes and calls his brother, Simon Peter, come and meet the one that is the Messiah. Come and meet him. It's, it's Andrew who brings people to Jesus. Uh, it, there's also a scene in, in John's Gospel where Andrew brings the Greek-speaking Jews to Jesus. And, and, and the wonderful thing about that, I think that's our first reading and why we hear that today. We have to be able to bring one another to Christ, just as Andrew did, by our example, by our words. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. How beautiful the feet of those who bring the good news to others. That's the call of an apostle to be sent. That's the call of all of us to by our lives announce the good news of Jesus Christ and like Andrew, bring others to Christ. But there is something really, really important about that uh, fact that they were so captivated by the message of Jesus. They drop everything. They drop their nets. They leave their father and their boats and immediately follow Jesus. I guess, uh, you know, the, the, the wonderful magnetism of Jesus is seen there, but but it's also a reminder to us to realize Jesus calls us. It says that he saw them. He sees us and calls us and asks us to come follow him. Let's, uh, let's pray that, that we can have that same, that same kind of an encounter that enables us to, to really let go of all the things that we are worrying about, all the things that hold us back and truly be able to follow Christ. The challenge of spreading the good news begins first by that encounter with Christ and then filled with that same enthusiasm that captured the first apostles. Let's pray that we can have that same energy that brings others to Christ for the salvation of the world. Let's stand and pray. Setting aside all things to follow Jesus, we bring these prayers. We pray that the apostles of our time might carry Christ's word to all the nations. We pray to the Lord. That the disciples of Jesus may embrace and live the gospel. We pray to the Lord that the power of the resurrection may prepare the world for its eternal destiny, we pray to the Lord. That those who hear the good news may respond in faith, we pray to the Lord. That the sick may cry out to God for healing, we pray to the Lord. And that our faithful dead, especially those whose names in the Book of Remembrance may share in the fullness of Christ's glory, we pray to the Lord. 
We pause for our own prayers and intentions and for the needs of our community of faith. We pray to the Lord. God of mission, you send us out to proclaim the love poured out on the cross and revealed in Christ's resurrection. Hear the prayers we offer and open the hearts of those who do not yet believe that on the coming day of glory all may share new life in Christ, for he is Lord forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. It is through your goodness that we have received the bread we offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. It is through your goodness that we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me of my sin. Pray now, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our loving Father. Grant us, Almighty God, that through these offerings which we bring on the feast day of St. Andrew, we may please you by what we have brought and be given life by what we have accepted. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through your blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always so that it may be governed by those who have appointed, you have appointed as shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. So with the angels and archangels, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he broke it and he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, with all our bishops, clergy, and the entire people. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. 
Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Thomas More, St. Andrew, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Trusting in the love of God, we can now pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from all evil. Graciously grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's share that peace with each other. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. But I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word in my soul.
And he told his brother Simon, we have found the Messiah, the Christ. And he brought him to Jesus. Let us pray. May communion in your sacrament strengthen us, O Lord, so that by the example of the blessed apostle Andrew, we who carry in our body the death of Christ may merit to live with him in glory, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We go in peace.